Well, what's for dinner? If you're anything like me, it's a question you're asked every single day. And let's be honest, finding a simple and tasty meal for your family is easier said than done. Today, we're going to get some help. You've seen Chef Marcella Valladolid here on WBOC as a judge on the American Baking Competition. She's also host of the Food Network show Mexican Made Easy. She's a cookbook author and hardworking mom, and we are so happy to welcome Marcella to Delmarva Life to show us how we can bring home the taste of Mexico. Thank you so much for joining us, Marcella. Thank you for having me. I'm very excited to be here. Thank you. Now you are from Mexico, so you know real Mexican flavor. So fill us in. What is real Mexican and what is not? Well, you're absolutely right. I did grow up in Mexico and together with Safeway, I'm on a mission to bring you that real flavor of Mexico, you know, basically to your dinner table. And for me, Real Mexico, it's, it's just too vast to kind of cover in perhaps one of these small interviews, but I do have to say this. There's so many flavors, fresh flavors, fresh ingredients, flavor combinations, chili combinations, that perhaps we haven't been exposed to as much on this side of the border, and that's kind of our mission, to show you that it can be very authentic, it can be quick and easy, and it can be approachable all at the same time. And that's while what you're, preserving that real Mexican flavor. Right, and that's what you're gonna show us today, some quick and easy real Mexican meal solutions that won't break the bank. And of course they're simple for our easy, our, our hard lives, right? Exactly, and that's what it's all about. At the end of the day, you know, I'm a professional chef. Like that's what I do for a living, but at the end of the day, I'm a mom. And I'm always looking for quick and easy kind of weeknight meal solutions that I can put together for my son. And at the same time, I grew up in Mexico and my parents are Mexican, so it's very important for me to put forth those dishes and those flavors that kind of capture my culture and my cuisine and, and our history. It's kind of a way to teach my son a history lesson every time we sit down at the table and I put out like an arrachera taco because I can talk about my upbringing. Now you mentioned fresh flavors. How important are fresh flavors to your dishes? They are. I mean, it's all about when it comes to any meal, whether it be, you know, a fresh ingredient or, or, or something that's not so fresh, it's all about starting with good quality ingredients, which is exactly what we have here. You know, if it's a Mexican meal, you have to have good tortillas. That's a staple. It's, a, it's an unwritten rule. If the tortilla is not good, the whole meal is not going to be good. And these tortillas that we have here are something that I'm super proud of because they remind me so much of you know, what I grew up with in Mexico, and that's pretty much what it's all about. Now, in terms of freshness, grab those tortillas, warm them up, warm them up on the grill. We have those beautiful marinated meats like ancho chipotle chicken, al pastor pork, pollo asado. Pop those on the grill, put them in the warm tortilla, add some fresh salsa over the top, homemade. It can be tomatillo, it can be a pico de gallo. You can go all tropical with a pineapple salsa. You can pretty much do whatever you want. You yeah. just want to recreate those kind of flavors of Mexico and those real Mexican combinations. Yeah, and Marcella, you seem real passionate about bringing those flavors to America, right? I absolutely am, I absolutely am. I grew up, like I said, in Tijuana, and I would cross the border to go to school in San Diego, so I was exposed to both. I was exposed to the real traditional Mexican cooking or the Mexican food the way it's supposed to be served at the table. And, you know, crossing the border and coming to San Diego, it was also very clear that there were certainly some misconceptions when it came to, when it came to Mexican food and what, for example, a taco needed to look like. So that's why we're on a mission. I want to show people that even though I love those foods, I love those crunchy beef tacos and I love burritos and I love nachos maybe that aren't traditionally Mexican, I wanted to show people, along with Safeway, the, the folks at Safeway, that you, there's so much more out there, so many more flavors, so many more textures, um, and it's really quick and it's really easy to put together. And Marcella, we so loved watching you this summer on the American Baking Competition. I can't let you go until I ask you Thank what's you. next for you. Oh my gosh, well, I'm working on a couple of new shows for the Food Network that I can't really talk about. All I can <laughs> say is to keep tuning into the network and you'll, you're, you'll see a whole bunch of, uh, of stuff happening. And I'm very excited to, to say that, you know, it's an array of products that I'm working with, of launching with Safeway. So you're gonna see a lot more stuff in the coming months. It's just gonna get more and more exciting. And it's all about the real flavors of Mexico with me. All right, Marcella, thank you so much for helping simplify our dinner times with our busy lives. And for more information on what Marcella discussed today, go to Delmarva Life and click on the show tab. 
Well, Marcelo, just mentioned the importance of fresh ingredients for that Mexican flavor. Now, we're going to put one of our recipes to the test, but I am not doing this without Here I Lisa. Am. Okay, Here good. I am. I had to get no my apron back on. This. Yeah, this is a light and healthy salsa. It has a bit of a uh, twist with pineapple, and I'm going to tell you what the ingredients are. But first, I want you to get started on that pineapple because oh, okay. you actually have to cut that thing up. Right. So, this is what you need. Uh, Marcella calls it pickled pineapple salsa. You want to have some white distilled vinegar. A tablespoon of dried oregano, Mexican if you can find it, a tablespoon of sugar, one jalapeno pepper. You also want to have a red onion sliced and diced up into little pieces. And of course, two cups of pineapple peeled and diced and some salt and pepper. So and that's what I'm doing. That's what you're doing. You're working on that pineapple Dicing over there. The salt. I'm going to work on this. Uh, red onion. Now, I mentioned oregano. There are, you want to have Mexican oregano. And you know what? Before we uh, started this recipe, I mm -hmm. didn't realize there are two different kinds of oregano. Really? Did you well, know there know were that, two? No, I didn't. Actually, there's several different kinds, but the two main ones are the European oregano and then there's a the Mexican oregano. The Mexican oregano it has a stronger, more bitter flavor to it. Oh, okay. And it has hint, hints of citrus and mild licorice. Really? No, yeah. Now I'll admit, no. I'm not a licorice fan, but I do love well, spicy. And I say hints. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. That makes it better. <laughs> and then um, the uh, European, more th that you're probably used to having, um, is a little different in that it's a member of the mint family and it's used for tomato based recipes. That's what we put in our spaghetti sauce. Ah. Okay. So what we're going to do is basically cut all of this up. All right. I'm cutting the onions and the jalapenos and just ba mix it. Mix it together. And I am dicing, correct? You are dicing. Making and you're little doing pieces a great out of big job pieces. Dicing. And I want to let you know there are several ways you can get the shopping list and instructions for this recipe. You can send us a self addressed stamped envelope to 1729 North Salisbury Boulevard, mm -hmm. Salisbury, Maryland. Right. 21801. I'm writing you it down. Go ahead. <laughs> you can also go online because we have it there. And you knew I wasn't writing that down, didn't you? Yeah, no, no. <laughs> and then, of course, you can give us a call at 443-880-9116. Make sure you let us know you want the recipe. Okay, now I don't have the, 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 the full pineapple salsa. quarter pineapple here, but it's, okay, it's a good start, Okay, go ahead and put right? that in. I'm going to go ahead and put the other ingredients in, which we Coming have the you. vinegar. Go ahead, put okay. it in there. There's some. We have our oregano, we have our sugar, mm -hmm. and a little bit of salt and pepper. And I am going to mix this up, and then I'm going to have you taste it because we have some pita chips there. Oh, good. Because we want to stay healthy. Liking it. You liking it? Give it a little more. Okay. And now, ideally, you want to put this in the refrigerator and let it chill for a little bit. But right. we're going to just have you taste it right now. Got the onion, got the pineapple. Like it? Oh, wow. <laughs> Glad you like I like that. Well, still ahead on Del Marva Life, the new season of Price is Right comes with a new game added to the lineup. We'll find out it's, that it's not like anything the show has ever done before. We'll be right back. That is really cool. mm.